Jimmy Kimmel never gave up on his child. The funniest people are often the saddest. I'm joking to make myself not cry. Jimmy Kimmel's life was far from perfect. I'm nobody's moral arbiter. I was depressed and I was praying that they would cancel the show. Do you feel like you deserve to be here now? He's gone through many heartbreaking moments. I, I, I try not to get emotional, but it was a scary story that Billy was born with um, a heart disease. No parent should ever have to decide if they can afford to save their child's life. He, he's a big loser. We don't like each other, in case you don't know. I feel anxious and I feel nervous, but I also feel, I guess, hopeful. His career didn't have an easy start either. Jimmy started off as a radio host and was fired from many of his first jobs. It's a hard thing. You know, I was fired from the radio station, uh, I think 10 months after I, I got started. I, there were good reasons for my termination. I would tape my boss in our meetings and then play them back on the air the next day. Around this time, he met his first girlfriend and then wife, Gina Maddy. They have two children together, but their marriage got ruined by his job. We were both very young, my mum was 19 when she got married, so it didn't seem unusual to me. It seemed unusual to all my friends, but not to me. Gina Maddie Kimmel filed for divorce because she was tired of her husband's self-professed workaholic ways. Kimmel then dated comedian Sarah Silverman, but their relationships failed as well. And when he finally got his own show, Jimmy Kimmel Live, it turned out to be an absolute disaster. It seemed like a good idea at the time. I quickly realized that it wasn't. Nobody wanted to be on the show. About six months in, I was praying that they would cancel the show. It was just overwhelming. It was a slog. Nobody seemed to be watching the show. I was burnt out, exhausted, terrified. I wanted them to cancel it so I didn't have to quit. In 2009, Jimmy started dating his soon-to-be wife, Molly. She was a writer's assistant on the show. In 2017, they welcomed a second child. And a moment that was supposed to be their happiest quickly turned into a nightmare. A little over a week ago on Friday, April 21st, uh, my wife, Molly, gave birth to a boy, a baby boy. He <laughs> appeared to be a normal, healthy baby until about three hours after he was born. But a nurse identified a heart murmur along with a purple tint to his skin. It appeared he didn't have enough oxygen in his blood, which meant there was a problem with his heart or his lungs. They did an x-ray and his lungs were fine, which meant his heart wasn't. They did an echocardiogram, which is a sonogram of the heart, and found that Billy was born with um, a heart disease. And his three-day-old baby had to endure open heart surgery. It was the longest three hours of my life, and the operation was a success. His wife didn't know he was giving this monologue on TV. She told Hollywood Reporter, I saw him through the entire thing. He didn't have to do that. Our family has excellent health care. He had nothing to gain from that. He did it for the other people whom we met in that hospital. He came home that night, and I just hugged him, and I wouldn't let go. This is Billy. I was out last week because... This guy had a, a heart surgery, but look, he's fine, everybody. The response from people was very positive at first, but then came the criticism. People were sending letters to our home, attacking both of us on Twitter, saying things like, we deserve this and we're terrible people. That's been the ugliest part of all this, and it's been harder for me to deal with than the weekly cardiologist appointments and making sure my baby is breathing properly. If we were to do this all over again, and someone said you would have an opportunity to have a perfectly healthy baby boy, I would take the one we got, because I think it helped a lot of families. Billy has one more operation to go through, but he is doing great. Jimmy has a beautiful family and a great job, and everything seems to have gotten back on track.